In this video, we're going to learn how to create a poll for your association. You can use this to ask them questions, to think about different rules, or basically to gain information and thoughts of your unit owners so that it will help you as a board make better decisions. So we're here in the home screen of Town Square. You'll notice this is my name, Paul Petrullis, and the demonstration account. Uh, but on our home screen where we have the community uh, tab here, the scrolling piece, over here on the far left side, you're going to look for the tab called Polls. So you just click on this button, and a poll is going to be used to, again, get unit owner information, unit owner feedback on something that the association wants to do. And as this loads in, you're going to find that there is one sample poll, and this is just what color is to paint the clubhouse. Uh, that's one that's just going on for right now as a fake poll. But let's start one, let's create our own. And in this example, we're gonna to want to find out what color, I'm sorry, what kind of pool furniture you want to purchase for your pool or clubhouse. That's the goal here. So in this case, we're gonna go up to the big green button that says Create Poll. And as normal, this screen blacks out and we're gonna be working over here. So in the title of creating this poll, it's what do we wanna know for the residents? The question is, you're asking this question as if you were asking your unit owners, what kind of furniture, let's say pool furniture, do you want to see at the clubhouse? Now, from a voting time frame, you want to give your unit owners and your board an opportunity to start and finish this poll because you certainly want to have an end date here. So we're going to start this today. Today is, I'm sorry, today is April 9th from 2020. And this is going to run until, let's say it's going to go for, just so this is a fake account, we're going to let this thing run to the end of the year. Now you might think that's crazy, and that's all right. But ultimately you want to give someone the opportunity who might not have seen a mailing or hasn't been on town square in a while you want to give them some time uh, you do have an option here do you want to accept votes from delinquent residents and per your own state and your own association governing documents if they're delinquent to a certain timeline and typically it's 90 days they don't get the access points to use the, the amenities so in this case they might not get to use the pool the uh the pool but you as the board can give them the opportunity if they if they vote or for them to vote even if they are delinquent and all you have to do is toggle on and toggle off that little switch there no problem right if it's like this then everybody who's a unit owner who's delinquent does get to vote and if it's turned off like this they do not so the default is two different options here so the kind of furniture is plastic lounge chairs Now we also want to do wrought iron with cushions. We'll call that black iron. But you want a third one here, and maybe this one is wicker with cushions. And maybe a fourth one is, oh, let's see, what might it be? It might be Adirondack chairs. Hopefully I spelled that right. So here's the title. We've got a time frame. In this case, we are not accepting from delinquent owners. And here are the options. We're going to create the poll. As Town Square cycles through, once this is up and running, there you go. Your poll was created. Don't correct. Don't forget to check the results when you're done. This is your alert that says, yes, everything was done. And in live time, this took all of about 30 seconds. So remember, this was the fake one that was here anyway. But here comes what kind of pool furniture do you want to see at the clubhouse? So once this is uploaded, your unit owners who have opted into Town Square are going to get this alert on their phone. In this case... We have a close, we have an edit, and we have a delete button, but we're not going to leave any of those there. Closing would literally mean to stop the poll, but this is what it's going to look like. So if I go back to my home screen, 
And as this loads in, you'll see what we're talking about here. So just hang on for just a couple seconds. And there it is. So a few seconds ago, the what kind of pool furniture do you want to see in the clubhouse? This showed up in your My Community tab. So you can go to it straight from here, or you can log in and hit the polls button. But I'm going to go straight through here. And here comes that poll that we just created. So it's running from April 9th to December 31st. And what kind of pool furniture? Plastic lounge chairs, black iron with curtains, wicker with cushions, or Adirondack chairs. And you'll notice that I can't vote, right? And the reason for that is real simple. On the false account, this demonstration account, there are no unit owners. If this was an actual live account, this voting button would be live. And once you clicked it, you'd have to choose your option here and then click vote. Then your vote, if you are a unit owner, would be recorded. Over here, if the board is looking over here on this tab or this side of the screen, the board will see what the votes are in a running tabulation. So it could change every day uh, or you just want to see it in one simple snapshot. But that's how you do it. That's how you create a poll. Remember, as this cycles, you're going to go to your, from your home screen, come down to the poll section, click that. These are the existing ones, but if you want to create a poll, this is how you start that green button. Thank you so much.